So in this research, we're interested in the, I guess, the fundamental property uh, known as chirality. Uh, chiral objects are non-superimposable mirror images, much like your hands. So they're non-superimposable mirror images, and therefore chiral objects are often said to have handedness. They come in a left and a right-handed form. So in chemistry, chirality is incredibly important. For example, many of the proteins in your cells, DNA itself is a chiral object. And so we were interested in chiral molecules, and rather specifically, helically chiral molecules, so molecules that exist in a left-handed and as a right-handed helix. Now in physics, we also have chirality. Light itself comes in two chiral forms. You can have left-handed um, circularly polarized light and right-handed circularly polarized light. And the essence of our research was to look at um, how light interacts with these different chemical molecules, but also to actually build a semiconducting device based on these different molecules, which can absorb and emit circularly polarized light. Um, now, in everyone's familiar with perhaps with um, semiconductors like silicon, which are used in silicon chips, in a TVs and displays that you use in everyday life. And you're also familiar with LEDs, which you might see on some sort of product which emits red or green light. And the molecules that Matt has synthesized, in essence, are like um, molecular semiconductors. They're like materials like silicon, which we're all familiar with in things like silicon chips, and also the back plane in displays. And from this, we've been able to actually make essentially devices based on these organic semiconductors with their helicity, their chirality, which can both absorb and emit circularly polarized photons. So my research group uh, have a strong interest in how to rapidly and efficiently uh, assemble these helically chiral molecules and then study what we can do with them once we have access to significant quantities of these unique molecules. So we developed uh, a rapid way to access these helically chiral molecules, and then we established a collaboration um, with AL to enable us to explore their use in organic electronic devices that emit or detect circularly polarized light. Well, my research group has an interest in light emitting diodes and transistors based on organic semiconductors. And what we found was that using these novel materials synthesized by Matt, we were firstly able to create a light emitting diode using these materials and also a working transistor using these materials. And that alone was a great breakthrough. But then we found that both of these devices either emitted or responded to circularly polarized light with the handedness corresponding to the handedness of the molecules that we were actually using in that device.